Are you thinking about cutting the cord? Getting rid of cable TV? Have you even considered, as a part of this plan, discontinuing your internet service? Can you do that? Coming up next, I'll discuss whether you can discontinue your internet service and then stream internet TV. John, how can we help you today? I got a question about streaming. Okay. Since you're talking about it. Yes. Um, I, I'm with Comcast right now for my back. I want to drop it. My phone, I want to drop it. And my computer, if I drop them on a computer, will I, and go to, go to streaming, will I lose all my, my uh, messages from Okay, so, so, so that's a good question. First of all, you, so you're asking about your email messages, whether you'll lose those or not, right? Yes, yes. I lose my email. Okay, so, so first of all, Comcast does allow you to keep your Comcast email address even if you don't have their service. But to stream, you have to have internet. So you have to have internet provided by someone. It could be Comcast, could be AT&T. We have some customers that are in more remote areas that have um, a direct TV uh, or direct PC satellite. We have some customers now that even have Elon Musk's Starlink satellite internet, um, which is more expensive than Comcast and, and AT&T. But with where they are, that's the best option that they have. Some communities have have fiber. So there's Blue Stream, Light Stream, Hotwire. These are in several of the communities out there. And and um, you know, so if, if you're in one of those communities, you can get internet that way. But you do have to have internet from someone to be able to stream. Now there's also some some of our customers have 5G modems in their house. So they're going to their cellular provider and they're getting a 5G modem. One a tip on on Comcast with with your your bill. Typically, first of all, you can cut out the television and just keep the internet. And if they are not willing to give you a lower rate on the internet or as low of a rate as what you want, then you could actually, if you have someone else in the house, maybe a spouse um, or someone else in the house, you could actually have them subscribe to Comcast and and you'll get the current rate. Like if you were to go out to Comcast right now, I'm pretty sure, in fact, I'll actually switch over to a full screen and, and go out um, and launch. Let me see. I think I can launch a, we'll go and launch an in private window and we'll actually search for Xfinity uh, internet deals. And what we're going to find is that they will offer you uh, that first year, they're going to offer you a very low price for the Internet. And and again, you can call them and try to negotiate to get them to reduce the amount that you're paying. But if they won't play ball with that and you have someone else in the house that can sign up, you see that they actually do have 150 megabit service from $30 a month. Now, that doesn't include equipment rental. Their equipment rental, they'll charge you thirty or fifteen dollars a month for their modem, which you could get your own modem and you could get your own router, but you can go thirty dollars a month is where they start, hundred and fifty megabits per second. I can tell you that you can easily stream and they'll they'll try to tell you, well, you need more than this, you need faster to be able to stream, but you can stream on hundred and fifty megabits per second. We've done it on fifty megabits per second, you know, so you can stream definitely on 150 megabits per second, multiple streams in the, in the house without issue. But you do have to have an Internet service provider. Could be Comcast, could be, could be AT&T. One of the things to remember with your email address, if you do discontinue 
uh, Comcast or you switch maybe someone else in the house subscribes to Comcast so you can get a lower rate and you discontinue your service, um, that, you, that account will no longer be a tied to an active account. So it's very important to remember your username. Obviously your username is your email address, but remember your password. Make sure you remember your uh, security questions and answers if you have those. Make sure you have up-to-date contact information so that if you ever need to reset the password, you can do so. You'll want to be able to do that. I hope you've liked this video, that you've learned something from it. If you have, please click the like button, click subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when we release new videos. And remember, when you have streaming questions, you need a faster PC.